Hey guys, basically I'm back here and I'm literally filming this straight after uh, the last video where I reviewed Sun and Moon. So if you remember in that video, I said there's one more custom that I need to that I want to review for his own little video. And yeah, that's what we're doing right here right now. You saw the thumbnail and title. I made the character from the cover of Tales with the Pizza Plex number two, Haps. Or at least that's what his name seems to be. I don't know if this guy is named anything differently, but I'm pretty sure his name is probably Haps. Uh, or ha however you want to say it, I'm just, I'd call him Haps, because I can. Uh, but I'm going to get into this, since it's a brand new custom and not uh, just like a updated one. So, Haps right here. Uh, hey, let me talk about the head first. The head, um, it was very hard to find like the color for this left side, so it's just gray. Uh, the right side is just white as well, and I... Did, and I textured it, like, to make it look dirty with all the Sharpie, even though it's probably not like that. I just realized the, f the front is basically, it's very different from the back. And also, it's kind of staining my fan, like, like, the black Sharpie staining my fingers. Yeah. Uh, I do like how I made the eyes. Like, if you want to know how I made the eyes, I just basically just, color like, used, like, a orange Sharpie or whatever and colored kind of faintly on the top to make it look cool. <laughs> uh... Most of the cracks are just, you know, shatteredness is basically done with Sharpie. Uh, the mouth is basically, it's, it's just a strip of yellow felt, like a big smile where, where I just had, where I just, I, the teeth are basically, they're, they're drawn on there with Sharpie. Yeah. Uh, okay. From the cover, this side looked pretty blue. So it's what I could use. And just this. Also, there is the help is on the way. Although you can't tell what the fuck the way is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I did add detail with the Sharpie as well on here. Uh, and the with I Okay, originally these two withered marks were going to be used like with felt like how I did for that right there. Uh, but I just decided to use Sharpie because why the fuck not? Uh, then there's... Uh, a little, these are like little deposits for something. I don't know what. This is just supposed to be... I don't even know what this was. But... Uh, the legs, or I guess the wheels, because uh, he actually doesn't have legs. If you look closely at the bottom of the cover, you can see he actually has little wheels. And I thought, you know, I'm going to do that. I liked how I made the wheels, honestly. The wheels weren't necessarily hard. They were just, like, kind of time-consuming just because I, I was trying to think of multiple ways on how I'm going to do the wheels. The wheels are basically just, like, like j it's just a strip, I guess, like you could say. Kind of like how the head is made, but it's a little more wider. And those the wheels are just like circle, just white circles of felt with, you know, pretty sure you can see it for yourself. Uh, the arms are made the same. Like they, it's, I'm, there's like this little yellow tube. I'm just going to, I'm going to call it a tube. Uh, but basically like I, originally this little black line was just going to be with Sharpie. But then again. I didn't feel like that. I didn't feel like doing all that. And obviously, okay, this side has more witheredness because you actually you could actually tell that this side has withering on it. Uh, the hands are made the same. Like the pattern is is the same on all all sides, like front and back. Well, most for most of them, I I do add some dirt on the hands when it's not really there. Uh, the hands weren't necessarily hard to make, but they're just like. I, I, I kind of wanted to do more of them, but honestly, this, this, this works better. Uh, obviously, all the detail was done with Sharpie. Nothing too special. Okay, last thing I want to mention. This is supposed to be the light. Uh, just so you guys know, like, if you look on a cover, uh, obviously, that's the light that uh, is supposed to be on, his, on the top of the head. It kind of took me a little bit to get to get the bulb, I guess, right. But honestly, it, it looks fine either way. Uh, also on the back, uh, there's the line going straight down through the booty ass. <laughs> but, yeah, there's not much to this, uh, at least from what I can see. If there's anything I've missed, uh, just, just keep that to yourself and don't tell me. Because, I mean, I can figure this stuff out on my own. I mean, I made this. And you can point out anything to yourself. Don't, don't say in the comments or else, or else you're cringe. <laughs> I couldn't do this zoom in because I'm holding this plushie and he doesn't really stand. Actually, let me try standing him. Uh, it probably won't work, but... Ooh, there we go. Frick. Fuck. Uh, 
you have to kind of lean, lean them back. But, okay, it's very hard with the wheels just because... I just realized it's it's kind of... I tried making it, putting the body in the center, but I just realized it's a little bit over the center. Uh, right, like, it's more front rather than back, or just, just in the middle overall. But yeah, that's basically it for Haps. I was thinking about making Lolly's game, or just Lolly, tonight as well, from the for the first cover. Uh, if any more Tales of the Pizza Plex covers uh, get revealed, I'll try to make a custom of them. But honestly, it depends on... How, what the how like how much of a mood I am to make it? I'm honestly just starting to get right back into customs, just cause I focused more on making my lo lullaby one last night movie, and that took a lot of energy out of me. So it's nice to see myself, you know, getting back into the habit. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to watch the last video of Sun and Moon. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Join my Discord server. Like I said, it's kind of dead. Please. Uh, anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and goodbye.